My name is Olena Torna. I'm going to talk about the highlights of a systematic review of speech and language interventions for infants aged 0 to 2 years at high risk for CP that was published in the November 2016 issue of DMCN. My collaborators for this review were Ellen Hamm, a music therapist, speech therapist Caitlin Cummings and Ashley Petters, and Dr. Natalie Maitri, a neonatologist and director of NICU Developmental Therapies and of the follow-up program at Nationwide Children's Hospital. The reason we conducted this study is to address a gap in knowledge regarding effective interventions targeting speech and language deficits in infants at high risk for or with cerebral palsy in the first two years of life. To address this gap, we conducted a systematic review to evaluate the level of evidence of all current interventions on the speech and language delays of infants with typical hearing and without known genetic conditions that could also affect their language development. We found out that the overall level of evidence of studies in infants diagnosed with CP or at high risk for CP is very low. Even though there were no interventions validated specifically for infants diagnosed with CP, there were few evidence-based interventions addressing speech, language, and communication needs for infants and toddlers at high risk for CP. When we speak of infants at high risk for CP, we mean infants with any condition that is highly associated with CP uh, in the published literature. Promising interventions are included in the recommendations and are based on rigorously designed parent-infant transaction programs. These interventions provide opportunities for interaction in the form of shared reciprocal engagement. This type of parent-infant interaction supports the development of reciprocal turn-taking, responsive and productive functions of language, and early communication skills. Teaching primary caregivers about appropriate interaction and developmental milestones, along with specific intervention techniques when appropriate, may empower caregivers and create an improved and more effective environment for infant speech and language development. The amount of parent-child interaction, responsiveness to child communication, and the amount and quality of linguistic input are all uh, important aspects of parent-infant interactions that may have a positive effect on the language and communication development of babies. Thank you for watching and feel free to contact us at the information provided in the paper. Thank you.